See, that wasn't that so bad. Right, right, um, so, I have to explain this as simple as possible, but first I have to pose a question for you. Why is it that all Monster Girl Hunters are specifically, if not exclusively, male? And the reason for that is because of this next Monster Girl. Now, let's not dilly-dally any too longer. Let's go over Monster Girl number 14, the Matango. The Matango is a fungus-type monster girl. Its habitat is forests, its nature is mild, and its diet is the nutrients of the earth and the essence of human men. The Matango is a mushroom monster that lives in damp forested areas and assumes the shape of a woman. Matangos root themselves into the ground or on trees to absorb nutrients and are unable to move from their location. However, wood or soil-based nutrients are inadequate to keep up her vigor, and so she often appears dreamy. Montango periodically distributes spores from the gills of the mushrooms which grow upon her body. When a man inhaled these spores, they plant themselves in his body and mature into large mushrooms that possess his thoughts. He is then overcome with a pleasant dreaminess and him finds himself unable to think of anything but the Montango who distributed the spores. The mushrooms in his body then guide him to her so that they can copulate. Thusly, the Mantango harvests semen from the man through sexual intercourse. When the Mantango has obtained sufficient nutrition, she becomes active and copulates with greater force, releasing spores in greater quantities. After the man has copulated with her for some time, his body becomes laden with mushrooms. Soon they sprout from his flesh as they do from the Mantango. In this way, he becomes a mushroom man who can think nothing of but sex with the Matango. Matangos cannot reproduce by spores alone. For a new Matango to be born, the spores must be inhaled by a human woman. They then control her thoughts, heighten her passion, and cause her to attack a man to harvest semen. This encourages rapid development of the mushroom in her body, and soon she becomes a Matango herself. If one woman in a village inhales the spores of a Matango, it is likely that the rest of the village will be subsequently infected. Though it is thought that Mantangos cannot move of their own volition, there have been recently been sightings of Mantangos that, after fading deeply for men, took root in his body or in order to move by his power. Witnesses report that Mantangos continue, continue to copulate with him as he moves about. And that, my dear Pentis, is why many Monster Girl Hunters are male. We're not immune to the Mantango's effects, no, we still affect it in a different way. But it's because we can't turn into a monster girl that we are the best suited option to contain and protect. Much like a certain foundation, if you can recall. So, that was Monster Girl number 14, the Mantango. I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked this video, like comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all in the field, hunters. Goodbye.